Hi friends, welcome back and I'm here to help you to create a happy and harmonious relationship between men and women. And today I would like to go over some uncomfortable topic and I will discuss this with you men. And I know that I've been talking a lot to women and talking to them what big, not not big, huge mistakes they're making in the relationship and marriage. But today I would like to talk also to you because yes, I know that some of you have gone through really painful and really nasty divorce. And that is in the space and you're hurting. And that's been a lot of pain and that's a huge baggage that you're carrying. And I will be discussing this topic to women on the second part of the master class in January. Um, but today we need to also address an elephant in the room that you men creating. And we can really point fingers at each other, but until both men and women are gonna start taking responsibility for their nasty part, we have no way to clear the space and create a harmony and happiness in the relationship. So what I really want to share with you guys is that some of the things that you're doing now, it's truly not just hurting women, but you're also hurting yourselves. Yes, you can figure out the strategies, how to get a woman, how to sleep with her and then because you are not interested in a relationship or marriage because you look at the women and you think they're all feminist and they're putting you through nasty divorce but what you're doing you're creating a karma i hope you know what that means karma when you're hurting someone consciously you're not just hurting that other person but you're also hurting yourself and so this karma, the way it works, the more women you're hurting by sleeping with them and then dumping them in a week, two, three weeks, or after a couple of times, these women are accumulating this pain because you're dumping them, they're feeling used, and that's what makes them feel really hurt, bitter, and resigned. And then when they finally meet a feminine guy, they marry him, and they dump all of the anger, the pain that you guys put them through on this guy. And the cycle continues, continues. Now she's punishing this guy in the marriage or relationship. And then she gonna even punish her kids because in the background, she did not deal with the pain that she been carrying from all of this multiple breakups. So again, I want to thank you for your feedback. I want to thank you for sharing how you feel about women and how the legal system is unfair. But at the same time, it's time for you to also take responsibility for the pain that you're causing to women. And again, remember that all the pain that you're causing to another person the universe, the way it works, it's going to bring you all of that pain back. So I just invite you, maybe you can find the strength and courage to go through the healing process. Maybe go to a counselor, maybe psychotherapist, maybe psychologist, maybe a priest, maybe finding a coach or mentor. But it's important for you, man, to share your pain and to release it. So you give yourself a chance to find emotionally healthy and a happy woman because we attract people by how we are. If we're healthy and happy, we attract healthy and happy people. If we're bitter and resigned, we attract bitter and resigned people. And so you can say that the entire United States has a masculine women who are feminists, who are putting men through divorce, or maybe you can heal from previous relationship or divorce so you can attract an emotionally happy and feminine woman. They're out there, but yes, maybe only 20%, but they're out there. And if you heal, you 
are entering you're crossing the bridge and you're getting to the side of those 20 percent you become that 20 percent um guy that healed and you're attracting a 20 percent woman who is feminine gentle soft loving caring feminine and so i just invite you to look at it from a different perspective because we all want to be happy we all want to be in love we all want to cherish each other and so i believe it's time to look for solution to look for the healing processes because blaming is easy we can blame each other as much as we want to but nothing get changed so with that said i want to thank you for your feedback i want to thank you for sharing yourself authentically to what you've been through and i believe deep in my heart that things gonna get better with that said namaste <laughs>